every person has their own innate abilities and mine was just seeing something that existed and then just a natural curiosity if it could be done a different way. The motivation is especially strong to solve a problem if somebody says it's not possible to solve it. The mindset of standing your ground, never give up, never surrender, comes from my mother. She used to have a saying, if you can't climb over it, crawl under it. I grew up in an environment where the status quo was that you could do what you wanted to do. And it wasn't until later that I realized not everybody felt that way. And in fact, there was a history of bias against girls and technology and science. We really, you know, spent just a ton of time together and very quickly evolved into a relationship where it's not professor-student, but, you know, two people who share a passion to work on the same problems. I feel that I'm either directly or indirectly mentoring youth in a way that they may not even know me. I was very inspired by people who would go into a land where they had no experience or didn't know what to expect. Clearing the mind is an essential part of the inventing process. You just let it happen. You let nature do its thing. Our goal was to make the internet be fast, reliable, and secure. And we believed we could do it because we believed in the technology. Part of the challenge is keeping everyone motivated to go in the same direction. If you are truly following your passion, it'll be easy to never give up. If you can't break through a wall, find a way around it. There is no such thing as obstacle that you cannot overcome. It makes me feel warm inside to have solved one issue going on into the future. The future of the world is in the hands of the people that we're training today, and it gives me fulfillment to contribute to creating the next generation of scientists who can make the world a better place. There's lots of ways to make an impact on the world.